Welcome to In the Frame with Gene Seidman, news from the global art world. Today we're going to talk about NFT. There's a seismic shift in the art world with NFTs or non-fungible tokens taking the spotlight center stage. While NFTs have been around for years, Christie's sale, which began yesterday, February 25th, 2021, became the first major auction house to sell a purely digital work of art. So what are NFTs? According to Noah Davis, specialist in post-war and contemporary art at Christie's in New York, NFTs, the actual art, is a long series of letters and numbers that is dropped into a digital wallet. The actual artwork is just a code. You are buying a token with the artwork linked to it. The transaction is registered on the blockchain, a decentralized database, providing a permanent record of the purchase, providing proof of ownership and provenance. The owner can display the artwork on a computer or TV, print it out, or resell it. It's true that anyone can print or display any internet image that does not belong to them, they cannot trade it. NFTs protect the artist's authorship and make a secondary market or resale market possible. Payment is generally made in cryptocurrency and the market is growing. In December 2020, nearly $9 million worth of NFT-based artwork was sold according to cryptocurrency website be in crypto. NFTs are attracting an entirely new audience of younger, digitally savvy collectors. The artists are hardly traditional. Forget about oil on canvas or acrylic or even spray paint. Today, just days before the Christie's sale, Mike Winkleman, an internet artist known as Beeple, sold an artwork for $6.6 million at Nifty Gateway an online cryptocurrency marketplace for digital art. This is the most expensive work of digital artwork ever sold. I'd suggest keeping your eyes on the Christie's New York auction site through March 11th. People's work entitled Every Days, The First 5,000 Days, is charting new territory in the art world. With an unknown estimate, whatever that means, unknown, and an opening bid, of $100. The current bid is $2.4 million. I'm fastening my digital seatbelt and I suggest you fasten yours. And that's another edition of In the Frame with Gene Seidman, news from the global art world. Thank you.